On October 24th, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov hailed Russia's solidarity with Muslim nations. Quote, Russia and the states of Islamic civilization are long-standing reliable partners, cooperating in ensuring security and stability, and in solving economic problems. But the impression that Russia gets along well with all Muslims is misleading. Just as Crimean Tatars, the indigenous Muslim population of the occupied peninsula. In 2014, they came under persecution for objecting to Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea from Ukraine. Russia outlawed the representative body of the Crimean Tatars, called the Majlis, and the Crimean Tatar TV channel was closed. Within a year, the UK's Amnesty International had documented rights abuses that included abduction and torture against Tatars. More abuses followed, and since 2014, some 10% of Crimean Tatars have fled to mainland Ukraine. Russians flooded in, reshaping Crimea's ethnic makeup. In September, authorities distributed summonses as Russian President Vladimir Putin hunted replacement troops for his war against Ukraine. Crimean Tatars became a disproportionate target. Refat Chubarov, exiled leader of the Majlis, said the forced military conscription of an occupied people is a war crime. And Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, called the roundup, quote, a deliberate attempt by Russia to destroy the Crimean Tatar people 